finally done with most of the interior siding. Uh, so I'll show you everything that I did. Uh, I got, I think, I already showed you those rooms. So there you, you got the front room, and I did leave uh, spots for the um, light switches. I'll show you those in a second. Front door, dining room. Uh, that's where the stairs are going to be. There's going to be a landing right here, starting right here. So um, I didn't really need to finish any of that. Because there's going to be a landing over top of it. Big uh, mud room. And then the garage. Uh, I kind of like the way those windows came out. Pretty nice. And uh, I'll show you the back wall. That took two days to do. I think it looks pretty neat. And uh, if you notice, all the light switches are in pretty uh, easy to reach areas. To the right of all the windows, you just reach your finger in. There will be one here on the upstairs. There will be. Uh, I have a map right here actually if you want to look at it. The stars are where the lights are. So there's a light right there. Or I mean a light switch. For, there's going to be two lights in there. Uh, there's two light switches right here. I believe I already showed you that. One right here for the family room. One, two, three. That'll be upstairs. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, this was just here to hold these walls together. That'll be coming off. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't show you that yet, I don't think. I was finished. Um, and it's all nice and strong now that I've got that on. Everything holds together. Um, so, what I have to do next. Oh, look at that. I forgot a piece. Uh, what I have to do next is I have a list. I need to build the stairs. Um, I'll make a video on how I do that. Uh, I don't really have a special way of doing it because um, it's kinda hard to do on a model so I'll figure it out. I did it on the last house. Uh, I need to sand everything down and these aren't in order by the way. I just need to uh, take the Dremel go along the outsides of the doors, um, sand all the high spots in the walls you kind of see little things bump out. Um, I need to mark for the joists, which are going to be uh, every inch. I need to make the joists and figure out... I have to do a lot of planning for that because there's going to be wires going within them. Uh, just like on the last house, which is not home, not here right now. Um, the, the wires go within the walls like they will you know, here. They'll go back up through the wall. But they'll also go through the floors and um, at least through this middle floor in the attic they could just go free but um, I need to figure out where to drill the holes before I actually put the joists up and that's kind of going to be a pain um, I just have to pretty much draw the house which I already did draw the joists which I already did and I have to draw where the light bulbs are and draw and, and figure out which joists need holes where so I'll show you all that because it is kind of confusing light switches um, obviously I need to put those in there and then finish the siding behind them because there's going to be wires back there that's why I didn't do siding behind them uh, these are, I'll show you the packaging I will make a full video on lighting uh, in a separate video um, but these are the light switches I get they're two dollars or you get two of them for three nineteen so not bad I guess um, and they just fit I didn't cut these holes, somebody asked about that. It just fits perfectly. Um, it's the height of one stick and then I just kind of leave a gap for the switch. And it fits in there, I just glue it. It goes up and down. Before we put them in, however, we solder, I'll show you how I do that later. We solder wires, There's uh, a, it's a double wire, so there's two wires that split off of it. Two, uh, two of those connector things on the end and then the wires will just come up and end up here and then I will join them with the lights when I get to the ceiling. I also need to clean everything out obviously I need to vacuum it slash uh, dump it upside down get all this little stuff out of there before I put the ceiling on and I didn't put it on here yet but I also need to make the beams which um, is going to be pretty interesting I guess uh, there's going to be a beam going here, here, 
here, so those three you can see on the floor, and it's just, there's going to be a beam right here. So this will all be wide open up to the ceiling on the second story, and then this, there will be a, a wall here up on the second story, a wall, sorry, a wall here, and then this will be a little bit of a balcony so you could look over. Same thing over here, uh, there will be a beam here. This was kind of going to be an enclosed room with two archways, but I wanted to really open it up. So there will just be a beam, either one or three beams. I might just do one, or I might do like an L, like three of them. And then there will be one here, and then the beam will go like this, and uh, it will support everything there. And also, uh, this will be two stories as well, but I don't need a beam for that. So that is the house and I have I will be doing one more video obviously before I put the actual joists on so in that video I'll give you a full kind of a longer tour of everything and uh, I'll just show you show you everything for the last time and uh, so I feel like I'm forgetting to say something uh, if you haven't joined my Facebook page yet um, go right ahead um, it's post a lot of interesting stuff on there it's just literally my youtube name if you search it on facebook uh... you shouldn't have much problem finding it so yep and uh... oh i was going to show you the packaging actually for the lights so i'll do that in case you're uh, interested in doing the same thing i do i know other people have asked about that um, god this camera doesn't focus closely very well that says two seven five zero four zero nine I don't know what that means. It's called SPDT Sub Mini Slide Switch, rated 3A at 125 VAC. Again, I have no idea what I'm reading. Uh, I just got it at Radio Shack. It was in the bin, and that's what it looks like. So, uh, got got the dimensions and everything. So, uh, if you're interested in buying these, um, they're definitely the best ones I found. I looked through a bunch. They're the same ones that are in the last house. If you're interested and that information didn't help you, I can like take a picture of the packaging and put it on my Facebook page. So, but yeah, like I said, I will have a full tutorial on the electrical and um, I have a lot more to come. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.